Hello and welcome to the video on complex queries. I'm going to the Access Database Library and open Sales. So I have the Sales Database open. And what I want to do um, is create a query. We've created queries before, so create queries. We've done uh, Query Wizard and Query Design, but we did what was considered a simple query, meaning just using information data from one table. Complex is using multiple tables to create a query. So I'm still going to choose query design. And then over on the right hand side, uh, I'll have my tables and they match the five tables that are over here in alphabetic order. And the table that I want to use is sales. So I'll double click sales. And there I have all my items. You can extend it if you want to make sure. Now if I click the star, it's going to give me all of the columns, which is fine, but don't do that because I'll show you in a second why. So I'll double click that. There they are, everything that's in this, the sales table. And if I run, there they are, which is fine. But instead, I'm just going to use this um, arrow that's pointing and click and then just press delete on the keyboard. What I want to do is have them individually because we're going to be making some changes. So I'll double click store ID, double click product ID, date sold, quantity sold, and if I don't double click I can just drag it to where I want. So they're all from the table sales and then each of the columns. Store ID, product ID, date sold, quantity sold, and amount sold. So I'll run same 34 records. But I'm looking at this and I know what is store ID? I have no idea what, what what the store ID or store three is. So what I need to do, I'm going to go back to design view and I need to add the table store so I can put the store name. So if this is accidentally closed, it's no longer there, what you can do is click query design and it may either be show tables or add tables. Either way, go ahead and click it and make sure you're in tables. And I want the store, so I'm going to double click that. And I want store name, but I want it in front. If I were to double click right now store name, it's automatically going to put it last. I want it here. So what will happen is it'll go here and store ID will be shifted to the right. So hold and drag right here and then it's shifted. Now when I click run, oh, uh, store ID 1 is number 12, um, store ID 6 is Woodcroft. So now you know. And then I'm looking, well, I don't know what product 1 is, what's product 3, product 6. So I'm going to go back to design view. Again, if this is not open, query design, add or show tables. Make sure you click tables. And I want the, um, the product table. And again, I want product name, but if I double click and it's going to put it here, I want it in front of product ID. So I'm going to hold and drag right here. There I go. Click run. And now I have, um, oh, product one is chai. Um, product two is black tea. So now I know what they are. So, and I still have 34 records. Now, if you notice, there are the, the links, the connection between Product um, sales and store share the one-to-many connection for store ID. And then if you want, we can move this down so that you can see the connection here. Product ID is the link to pro from sales to product ID in um, the product. So there is the connection there. Now, if you accidentally, I'm just cl clicking it and press delete. If I accidentally click um, delete a link, when I click run, watch what happens. Instead of 34, I have 374 records. So what happens is you're seeing duplicates, triplicates of the same data because the link was broken. So what I need to do to get it back, I'm just going to click the title here and just press delete on the keyboard and then just put it back in product. And there I have my connection back. The link is back. But I don't have it here, so I just have to, because I deleted it, bring product name right here. And if I go back to run, I should still have my 34. Great. Now, I really don't need to, I like the product name, but I don't need product ID. So what I can do for product ID is uncheck so it doesn't show. And maybe I would want it to be in alphabetic order by product name, so I'll choose ascending. 
And then I'm looking and I, I see that I have the quantity sold and the amount, but I don't have the unit price. I want the unit price here. So the unit price is right in here in product. So I'm just going to, if I double click it, it's going to put it on the end. I want it right here. So I'm going to hold and drag it right here. So the unit sold um, moves to the right, shifts to the right. So now if I click run, it doesn't show product ID because it's hidden, but I do have the unit price times quantity and it's the amount so three dollars times five is fifteen so it's still the thirty four because I did not delete any any links any connections between the table so if I go back into design view you can see that I pulled information from the sales table from the store table and from the product table and I put them in the order that I want and you'll notice here that you you took the um, store name from the store table Store ID from the sales. It shows you every column you chose and what table it comes from. This one's not is hidden right now. It's not showing. And you put the product name in alphabetic order. And you do have your scroll bar if you need to um, move over to see everything. I can close out of here. And what I want to do now is right click and save. And I'll call this query of products sold. And now I can X out of here. And there I have it. Query of products sold. Thank you.